Australian and international authors have come together on social media to raise funds for Australian firefighters by auctioning items including mentorships, signed books and original illustrations. Well, Pip Drysdale and Sarah Foster are two authors who are contributing to this fundraiser. They both join us now. Thank you so much for taking the time uh, to speak to us. Now, no Pip, problem. if I could start with you. You know, when I first read about this cause, it's a mag magnificent cause, but yeah. I was a little confused because I, I didn't really know how to bid, I didn't really know where the money was going, uh, so explain it to us. Oh, good, I get to explain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's up to you. Um, look, I was confused as well. Um, basically what happens is that anyone who bids on something makes the donation and then sends the confirmation of the donation to the author that they've bidded on the item for and then the author that, has, um, that owns the item um, gives it across. All right, and what are yeah. you giving? I am giving two things. The first one is... Um, I'm offering a book club visit in Sydney, so I'll turn up to a book club and um, answer questions about the books, give back story, behind the scenes info, the kind of stuff that would never make it into print. Mm. So very interesting stuff. Um, and the other one is I'm offering to name a minor character in my third book after the highest bidder. So that is the one that seems to be getting the most traction. Yeah, <laughs> which is a good idea. I know, except like I write psychological thrillers, so everyone has like major character defects. I'm so yes. interested that people are oh, into this. But people, people want that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sarah, you're also <laughs> participating in this. What are you offering up? I am. So I've got a few different auctions going on, but my main one is I'm offering any three of my novels and I will sign them and send them to you and I'll send separate packs of the three to two of your friends. Then I will put all three of your names in my next novel and I will make sure you're one of the first to get those proof copies as well. Wow. Um, um, I think she just up the stakes. Just up the oh my God, there. I thought we were friends. <laughs> Sarah, what was it that uh, made you want to, that sparked your interest in wanting to participate in this? Well, last year when I did my author tour, I went round the East Coast in November and fire seemed to just follow us everywhere we went. So I took my family with us and we went on holiday to Morton Island for a couple of days off Brisbane. That was on fire while we were there. We went to Lamington National Park. We could see fire from there. Um, they just had the Binaburra Lodge destroyed by fire there. We drove down the coast and um, we drove actually through bushfire on the side of the road. The sky went dark. My kids were very frightened about that. And then as soon as we got home, we had the bushfire roll through Yan Chep National Park in Perth as well. So that was even before um, the horrific events of Christmas and New Year. And it, we've just been watching on in horror and want to support the firefighters any way we can. And Pip, what about you? Have you been personally affected at all? Do no. you know anyone or? No, I haven't been personally affected. I think for me, it's a case of when something like this happens, the first thing that you feel is helplessness and you just want to help. And so this is one small thing we can do. Mm, I think that's the case with a lot of people who are donating money because it, yeah. Yeah, you just have that sense of helplessness and, yeah. and, I, and I guess money is a good way to help. It's pretty much the only way at this point. Mm. I mean, obviously you want to avoid it happening again in the future, but for the moment you just want to help those who have lost people or lost homes or the firefighters. You just want to do something, you know? Mm. Uh, now... Sarah, catastrophes tend to bring out the best in communities. Um, you know, there's stories of people helping each other out. Do you think this has really united the nation or do, do you think it's a case of perhaps just the states that have been affected that are really united in what they're going through? No, everything I read and see um, looks like the everyday Australians are banding together, doing everything they can. And I think that personally for me is where I'm getting my hope from at the moment is just hearing all these amazing stories of people's generosity, people's willingness to just do their bit and really extreme circumstances. You know, you've got firefighters who've lost their homes going out and trying to save other people's homes straight away. Um, it's just incredible. So I think that spirit is what is carrying us through and I'm really glad that as the community of writers we get to support that. And Sarah, I think people are using really creative ways as well, mm -hmm. like auctioning off creative things. I've seen that people are, you know, cooking meals for readers and taking them to dinner, crocheting items, there are <laughs> original illustrations being auctioned off, exclusive visits in book clubs, so people are being creative. Absolutely. I mean, you can get Trent Dalton visiting your book club. You can get 
Leanne Moriarty naming a character after you in your next novel. Um, you can get to go and have breakfast with Anita Heiss and Benjamin Law. Like, there's so much on offer. It's almost every creative outlet you can think of. All right, uh, it's not a competition. I'm no. just saying it's not a competition. But at this stage, Sarah, what's your highest bid? Well, I just saw just before I came on here that um, my bids moved up to $1,000 for my main bid, which is absolutely amazing. amazing. Um, so very excited about that. Um, lots of the bids have reached uh, thousands now, which is brilliant. And so we have till the end of today to try and get those bids as high mm. as we possibly can. Mm. We're just seeing some of the other um, authors that are offering their services. Tara Moss, we saw the former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd earlier. So mm. a lot of people getting involved. Pip, do you yeah. know what your total's up to at this um, stage? It's only for the one thing. So far, people have only bidded on um, the character name, and that is <laughs> at 550. I know. Um, 550. So that's super exciting. Yeah. 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 It'll definitely go up after this. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. Do you think, though, so, you know, again, I just want to go back to the catastrophe, Pip. I'm yeah. Talking, you know, it's a national disaster. Although, yeah. you know, just a few states have been affected, but it's yeah. a national disaster. Um, Sarah said that the whole country is coming together. Do yeah. you think this is forming a new Australian uh, national identity? Do you think I that's really, the case? It feels it's that way. character? It feels that way. It feels mm. like instead of thinking of everyone as a separate entity, people are seeing us more as a cohesive whole. Mm. And I think that while it's hard to say anything good has come out of that, that would be the only good thing, mm. you know. Sarah, just finally, when does the auction finish up? So the auction finishes at 11 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, so that's 8 p.m. for us here in Perth. Um, and then also keep an eye on the Authors for Wildlife hashtag because that started up as well, and so I'm not sure that may carry on a bit longer. So the main hashtag here is uh, hashtag authors for fireys if you want to make that donation. And uh, as Sarah said there, it ends 11 p.m. Yeah, tonight. Tonight, yeah. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you get in there. Uh, Pip Drysdale and Sarah Foster, thank you so thank much you. for coming in and joining us. Thank you so much for really getting involved as well. Thank you so much thank for you. having us. Thank you.